This video provides an overview of the Council for Basic Skills, CBS. Council membership is composed of leaders from across the state's basic education for adults programs. CBS will come to be an integral part of your time as dean, director, or administrator within a basic education program across the state. In addition to the formal function of the council, which will be discussed in the coming minutes, CBS provides a space for surfacing important questions, pushing initiatives forward, challenging bias, mentorship, and connection. The Council for Basic Skills, CBS, comprises all basic skills education providers funded through the Office of Basic Education for Adults at the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges. This group is primarily made up of deans, directors, and others in leadership positions with basic education programs. Each provider typically has one or two representatives on the council. Before we go further into the details of CBS, a reminder of the overall commission and council structure and chain of command will be of use. At the top of the chart is the Washington Association of Community and Technical Colleges, or WACTC. This group is made up of system presidents. WACTC develops policy recommendations to the State Board for Community and Technical Colleges and to the system in conjunction with seven commissions and their councils. The Council of Basic Skills, CBS, is under the Instruction Commission, or IC. In order to move concerns, policy changes, and initiatives forward, the committees with CBS bring items forward to the whole body of CBS. The chair of CBS then takes the ask to the Transitions Committee of the Instruction Commission. The Transitions Committee presents the initiative to the entire body of IC for approval or forwarding to WACTC. WACTC then approves and moves to the SBCTC board for final approval. CBS meets each quarter to carry out the purpose of assisting and reporting to the Instruction Commission issues affecting state, local or federally funded adult and family literacy programs and basic education issues. CBS coordinates and improves basic skills instruction to promote student success in accordance with state and federal guidelines for adult and family literacy education. Quarterly meetings rotate among providers, with an effort to hold meetings on both the east side and west side of the mountains. Consider volunteering to host a meeting. The CBS bylaws identify nine strategies to support the Council purpose. The strategies are Enhance communication and collaboration across the system of adult service providers. Identify program performance, professional standards, and professional qualifications that strengthen basic literacy and adult basic education. Advocate for and support timely professional development opportunities. Evaluate and recommend courses of action related to statewide basic literacy and adult basic education needs. Facilitate increased articulation within and between providers of instruction. Disseminate relevant and timely information. Participate in a system-wide assessment and evaluation process. CBS has a number of opportunities for engagement, including participation in the Executive Committee as an elected officer. There are five elected positions in the Executive Committee. Chair, Chair-Elect, Secretary-Treasurer, General Member-at-Large, CBO Member-at-Large. The Chair presides over all membership and Executive Committee meetings. The Chair is the official liaison to the Instruction Commission. The Chair-Elect acts as Chair in the Chair's absence and performs other duties as needed. The immediate past Chair serves on the Executive Committee and assists in assignments given by the Chair. In total, a person who is interested in becoming Chair typically serves for three years total, a year as Chair-Elect, a year as Chair, and a year as past Chair. The Secretary-Treasurer may write letters on behalf of CBS in collaboration with the Chair, as directed by the Executive or other committees, and shall maintain the organization's finances and perform other duties as assigned by the Executive Committee. The members at large serve on Executive Committee and assist in assignments as directed and assigned by the Chair. Participating in the Executive Committee of CBS is an amazing leadership opportunity affording you the ability to help set the agenda and direction 
of the Council during your service. Committee work is another important aspect of CBS. Standing committees are formed as necessary to carry out the ongoing work of the Council. Various committees are formed and retired on the recommendation of the Executive Committee and approved by majority vote of the Council. Standing committees are typically led by a pair of co-chairs who also participate in the Executive Committee. During your course as a member or co-chair of a standing committee, you can expect to review and research all issues relevant to the committee's charge, develop and present recommendations to the full council, represent the council to other organizations, serve as a liaison to the SBCTC Beta Office. Recommendations of a committee shall have the force of a motion and second recommendations shall then be open for discussion by the full council. Committees are imperative to moving ideas forward and advancing change. Please explore the additional resources available in the Resources section of this Canvas module for more information on CBS. Of particular relevance to this video are the following. ABE Director Listserv CBS Website CBS Canvas Page